in love with the coca. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this place that I'm just trying to tell y'all. I, I have no other definition for it other than the mental house, okay? Um, and that's because I feel everything now is is a battle for our mentals okay a lot of y'all don't feel that way but um with some of your behaviors we ought to be thinking like that you always got to do self inventory keep your thumb on your pulse okay now it's really crazy how we put ourselves at risk for a bag for uh, money, you know, for money, for drugs, and I'm not judging nobody because I've been there, done that, and I and I get it. Long, 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 long time ago, okay. But this woman, well, let let me just read the story. A woman who allegedly pretended to be pregnant to hide cocaine behind a fake baby bump was one of two people arrested in South Carolina in a drug bus, officials said. Anderson County authorities say they recovered more than 1,500 pounds of cocaine during a recent traffic stop involving driver Anthony Miller and the woman Shamika Mitchum. The first red flag began when the two gave conflicting information about her due date. <laughs> As Mitchum realized deputies were becoming more suspicious of her conflicting story, Mitchum immediately took off running. And very quickly the drugs fell from her fake rubber stomach. Oh, my Lord. Uh, 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 uh. Now, what she started running for? Where she thought she was going? Y'all. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. No. I would have set my ass there. I would have been like, no, 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 baby. I'm, I'm, uh-uh. You, I told you. You just don't believe it, do you? Well, he don't believe it's his, and that's why he keeps saying that. But this baby is doing blah, 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 blah. I wouldn't have got my ass up and started running. What the hell? Anyway, Miller and Mitchum, who were pulled over on Interstate 85, faced trafficking cocaine charges, according to the sheriff's office. Officials shared Miller and Mitchell's mug shots along with an image of the fake rubber belly recovered by the authorities. I don't think they had to show the belly. It wasn't even necessary. Uh, but it's one of those bellies that was like a, um, a you know, a, a rubber belly. But the cocaine was punched all inside of it. In March, the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime said the production of smuggling cocaine was surging throughout the world after being slowed down by COVID. The surge in the global co cocaine supply should put all of us on high alert. Well, y'all just got all that off the ship from J.P. Morgan, did Anyway, the potential for the cocaine market to expand in Africa and Asia is a dangerous reality. I urge governments and others to closely examine the report's findings to determine how, how transnational this threat can be met with transnational responses based on awareness Raising prevention and international and regional cooperation. 
Well, listen, you caught them. But what about, I just did a story last week about 1.3 billion tons of cocaine. And it was on the ship owned by J.P. Morgan. So, y'all think they just took that down to the warehouse? Probably took some of it. Some of it had to get picked up some other places. Some of it got it. They got hot points. So we can get this stuff distributed throughout the Americas the way we need to. Don't fool yourself. It's all an illusion. Don't fool yourself. And just look at them as the bad guy. Because the rabbit hole goes so much deeper. So with that being said. You know. I'll see y'all in the next video.